Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Um, had a couple people bring up some stuff concerning a pH meter the last week. Um, they had never seen one, they'd never tested with one. So um, it's a real useful little tool to determine acidity and to know what your pH is, um, to determine if you want a water bath or if you want to pressure can something. Um, Everything can be water bath. It's water bath around the world, but if you have a pressure canner option, um, then it's good to know where the water bath shuts off and the pressure canner comes on or where you need to uh, significantly increase the water bathing time for your product. Um, the other question that it came up just today, serendipitously, was if you could water bath um, Clamato juice for doing like Bloody Caesars or what is it that you like to drink? The Michelados. 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 So um, perfect timing. I figured I would try to test that out. So what we're going to do is make up a Clamato and then we're going to test the pH and see what the pH is and it will tell us if we can water bath it or if we're going to need to pressure can it. Okay. We have um, the pH meter. Mine is an Apera pH 20. Um, every single one of them is a little different on how you go about cal uh, calibrating them. So I'm not really going to go through the calibration process because they all come with instructions. Please follow them. If you don't, your calibration is going to be off. The other thing I suggest is that you get a pH meter that is um, sensitive to heat because pH is affected by heat. The other thing that affects pH that you'll hear people talk about is salt. <laughs> yes, salt affects the pH of your food. However, it is very nominal. Um, and the to get a significant shift in pH with salt, it would be unpalatable. You would not be able to eat it at all it, using the amount of salt that would be required to significantly shift pH. Um, the only reason I mention temperature is because a lot of the pH that we're testing is pretty close to 4.5, 4.6, and temperature can change you by 0.2, or not percent, but points. Um, so something that a non-sensitive meter could be reading as 4.5 might actually read as 4.7 with a sensitive meter. So try and look for one that is uh, sensitive. Okay, so. I've got the different liquids that we're going to be using. I'm going to show you what the different pHs are for each of them. I've got a glass of distilled water so I can rinse the pH meter off between readings. Then we're going to mix it all together, put it in, this is my mixing pot, <laughs> um, mix it all together and take the pH of the total. So I've already rinsed this. It is fresh and ready to go. Um, so we will test the tomato juice. This is not my homemade tomato juice. I don't have fresh tomatoes to squeeze, so I picked some up from the grocery store. This is um, Simple Truth Organic. So, um, the pH of this is, hold on one second. There we go, 4.1 to 4.2, okay? That in and of itself could be water bath canned. It's at or below. Uh, 4.5. You'll see some people say 4.6. Um, I try to go by 4.5. So, got it rinsed off. Now our lemon juice is 2.5. Okay. This is the clam juice. Clam juice comes in at 6.5 looks like 6.6. .6. Definitely could not water bath can just clam juice. Would not work. No. Clam juice and lemon juice, different story. Clam juice on itself, no. Worcestershire sauce comes in at, looks like 3.5. Could water bath can Worcestershire. And hot sauce. Looks like 3.1. At a guess, guys, given the pHs of all the different ingredients, at a guess, this is going to be able to be water bath canned. Not a problem. 
Okay, we have got this mixed up. It's all the various ingredients that are in here, which is uh, tomato juice, clam juice, Worcestershire hot sauce, lemon juice, celery salt, and black pepper. I use black pepper because my wussy gringo husband can't handle red pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's the one filming this, by the way. Yeah. So, <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, Show them your t-shirt because they're going to be wondering what it says. What it they don't even know what it says. Some of them will get it. Some of them don't. Anyway, I didn't get it. Anyway, back to the point <laughs> of this video. Um, you can use red pepper, but I use black. Um, and so pH, I've already rinsed it off. So we're going to take the pH of this and see what it says. And it comes in at 3.9. And that tells me you can water bath can Clamato. Okay, this is the third time I've tried to do this. We generally don't get much traffic on this street. We're getting a lot today, and I refuse to go inside right now because it is so pretty outside. It's overcast, but it's cool, and we've been in the hundreds for the last month, so I'm going to enjoy this while I can. So bear with me if traffic goes by. Um, wrapping it up, the Clamato can be processed five minutes. It is tomato juice. Um, the density lends itself to a very quick processing. You, all you're really doing is getting that seal. 3.9 acidity, 3.9 pH, perfect. The acidity is very, it, it's very acidic. It's very low on the pH meter, on the pH scale, very, very low. So go for it, can it. Um, do you need a pH meter? No. Is it useful? Absolutely. Um, find them anywhere. Amazon carries everything. It carries this. Um, you can find them at the hardware store. They run anywhere from, I think I've seen them from $12 to $50, uh, maybe $60. Uh, <laughs> you can get a couple hundred dollar one and they're sweet. I, I totally drool over one that's out there right now and it costs about $175 and is way more pH meter than I need. But I'm a geek. I really like my toys. Um, I don't have it. I have, I have the one I've got. So I'm happy with it. It works. It gets the job done. But uh, the knowing your pH, especially whenever you're adding meats, whenever you're adding bell peppers, uh, if you're making your own recipe, it's really helpful to know where you lie um, so far as pH is concerned. And while I don't think it's a necessary tool, I do think it is one that if you have the extra money, um, really is one of the more useful tools to have in your kitchen uh, as a canner. So I hope you have a good one.